Hello everyone, Alex Rules 237 here, back for one of the biggest live streams I have ever done so far, and I will probably never do something this big in a while. We are going to build my first PC, and I say we because you guys are coming along with me. This is being live streamed, and we have a lot more people than usual watching, which means this is a big deal. Lighting problems. Um, you're going to have to deal with me being Michael Jackson Black. Uh, <laughs> Holy crap. You don't know how long I've been wanting to do this for. For like seven months now. Like this, since the beginning of the year, I wanted to build a PC. So I got a job at my dad's shop <laughs> um, and worked hard, worked my butt off for that long. And I finally got this. Now, if you want to see all this stuff built like all of this stuff I do have a PC part picker link part picker part picker link in the last video of the um the, the PC log number two I will have it in this live stream but not the actual live stream once it gets uploaded uh, I am gonna read the comments beautiful Kevin I you, you good job um I, I'm getting a lot of good luck from people since I'm watching your stream. My science grade went up. Awesome. We're going we're gonna to get right into this. Um, I'm jittering. I'm shaking. So, other than the stuff you see, I also, I do have my graphics card. What you did not see in the thumbnail or the Instagram pictures, my graphics card was not in it. That's because it just came yesterday. Right, like, right when I got home from school. So, we got my graphics card. We're going to go over through the specs first, and we're going to go through other processes I'm going to do. First off, we have the Fractal Design Core 1100 computer case. It's micro ATX. It can also support a mini ITX board, but I'm not that poor. So we're going with the ASRock B250M Pro 4 micro ATX motherboard. It's definitely going to get the job done, and for audio, it should handle everything well. Now, obviously, I don't have a discrete graphics card for my laptop. So we do now, and it's the GeForce GTX 1050 Ti from MSI. It is not the Gaming X version. Um, hopefully, I can get one because it's my favorite looking card ever. Uh, power supply: we have an EVGA 650 watt, 80 plus gold certified semi modular power supply. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure it's semi module. I'm pretty sure. I can't remember. Uh, what else do we have uh, in front? We have the Core i3 6100, hyper-threaded, but not overclocked. Oh, overclocked? Overclocked. I'm trying to read the comments. I am going to read the comments. Um, uh, BenKey101. Thank you, man. Um, we do also have for memory the Evo Putanza DDR4 2400, 8 GB in a two-channel um, kit. And for an SSD for storage, I do have 120 gigabytes of SSD storage. Um, I do also have a one terabyte hard drive coming in. I don't have it. I don't need the hard drive to build it. All I really ha need it for is to hold all our raw files. The SSD is going to hold my applications and most importantly the operating system which is going to be Windows 10. And for that I have a USB boot drive. This is a Cruiser Glide 16 gigabytes worth of storage it's from SanDisk and if you do build a PC and you are going to use a USB boot drive then the minimum you're going to need is four or five gigabytes I think it's four but I would do five just in case I just found this for ten dollars at Walgreens I guess there was a sale or something um, also one that I it was in the Instagram pictures and the thumbnail was an optical drive I didn't put it out front because it kind of made my awesome array look ugly um, yeah, I once, Kevin. Oh. Um, I, I, there's gonna be a lot of a, uh, a lot, of comments that I'm not gonna be able to read. So sorry about that. Uh, it's just it's an old one that I ripped out of a Windows Vista. I'm not using optical memory for too much, so it should get the job done. Uh, I have water, and I am doing this in my garage because it's less humid or more humid. No, it's less humid. No, more humid. I am doing it in my garage, most importantly because there's no carpet, <coughs> even though I'm wearing my shoes anyway, so a lo lot less chance of a anti um, electrostatic discharge. 
Um, but speaking of that, I did find a pair of nitrile gloves, which I'll probably not use. Um, basically, I heard nitrile gloves would work great. Ooh, sorry for that noise. Would work great for this kind of use, and I'm pro. I brought it home just because we. My family has a lot of nitrile gloves, but they're medical gloves. I don't want to wear them. I found these black ones, which I'm planning on using. All right, I'm gonna shut up. We're we're gonna start building. Um, I also have a TP Link wireless network card. I'm not. I I forgot to actually take this away. I'm not going to add this in the build. I'm gonna add it afterward. Uh, I am having right after I build this and get all Windows 10 in it. I am actually having Kevin come over. We're going to run some benchmarks. It's going to be a grand time. We're going to do case prep first and then the motherboard because there's a lot of stuff with the case I want to do and uh, that does not include adding the SSD. Whoops. Uh, we're going to add the SSD in later. Uh, I also have a bare table right here um, so I can have all this crap on and look at everything. Uh, yeah, we're 10 past. We're so good. So fact of the design core 1100 um i'm gonna keep my water right near my mic I'll, i'm also out of have a mouse right here so i can control my computer from over there so i, I already opened this obviously and a lot of stuff um here the power supply and the the cpu and the graphics card i have not opened yet so we are going to have to open that and I forgot to bring a knife down here, but I'm pretty sure we have some in this garage here. So this is going to be my... Alright. You ready? I already opened this, obviously, so there's going to be no packaging. And I did hear... I'm actually going to... Alright. Care careful for this. There we go. I actually did hear that when you open a case, what's always going to happen with the packaging, and it's going to shock you. Sorry for that. Doesn't sound good. Um, it's gonna shock you, and they're right. It did shock me, but it wasn't like a small shock. It was like bigger than normal. Um, so they, it was confirmed true. Here is the beautiful case. I'm gonna try my best to get some shots of it, but I'm not gonna be able to. I'm not a good shot person. Oh, okay, I know what that is. So here is the Fractal Design Core 1100 in its brushed aluminum finish fingerprint magnet goodness um i the these thumb screws were wrenched on when i first got them so i undid them to make them good and just making sure okay all my cameras are working uh i don't have anything to put my screws so i'm just gonna put them on the table hopefully it's not gonna be bad um friend kevin and adam all right um, I did not get any case fans for it because only w already one included. Uh, we got my box of stuff, which is going to come in handy. And yes, so Ooh, this is what we're going to do. Uh, I need a screwdriver. All right. Uh, I know, I know you guys can't see inside the case. I'm going to try my very, very, very absolute best to get some a lot of stuff into this for once, but like I said, most of it's going to have to come up from there. Oh boy, where's our screwdrivers? Will this fit? Oh yeah, this will fit. So this right here that I'm unscrewing is the case drive, which is already in there. Oop, don't stab the case. Um, oof, i got gotten a lot of likes so far, which is kind of amazing. Like I said, this live stream I've been planning for months, and it's a very big deal to me. Oh god, what is it? It's a very big deal to me, and right now what I'm seeing, um, I actually kind of like, oh, we got Luke. Yeah, I started without you because you weren't paying attention. Um, is this our, is our, oh no. Is it that screwed to the case? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so from what I've concluded, I have, you know, I have a 3.5 inch hard drive and a 2.5 inch SSD. So the SSD is going to go on top, which I'll show you in just a second. If this will freaking come out, but I'll show you in just a second. Oh yes! All right, so got the front panel connectors screwed to it already, which is just fine. I I don't know how much of a pain in the neck these front panel connectors are going to be, because like I said, it's my first build, so I heard they were a pain in the neck, but they don't look too bad. Um, so the 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 so I make it look good. This is the top, if the case is upright, this would be the top and this would be the bottom. I'm going to put the SSD on top since it's smaller and lighter and the hard disk drive on the bottom. Um, 
freaking lose. Let's see. I want to... What do I want to do? I'm going to add the power supply in first, actually. kind of forgot about that. And then we're going to take the motherboard I.O. in, because I do not want to forget that. There's been a lot of people who's just starting out forgetting to put in their I.O. shield. And I there is planning. People have told me they want to watch this stream for informative use and entertainment use. Um, if you're here for informative use, well, you you're better off going somewhere else because in this live stream obviously this is the only thing you're gonna see but um in my the video I'm gonna upload that's gonna be exactly this live stream I'm gonna have a lot better shots I don't have a knife down here do I do I have a spare one here I don't think so uh oh what else do I cut open with I mean I could use a saw Oh, all right. I have, a, I have a utility knife. This will work. Um, where do I cut from the tape? Oh, right here. I'll go in. Why? I have I have really, really, really unsteady hands, and I do not like it. Kevin. All right. So I don't know why I just got a knife. I can just peel it off. There we go. All set. I also do want to note. And I want to give a shout out to FedEx. Um, that my power supply box, you're not going to see it well, came freaking bent here. And it doesn't look like a big deal in the live stream. I'm going to try to get better shots of it later. But it, it's like it, they, they obviously did not take good care of it in shipping. So I just want to give a big shout out to FedEx. Um, uh, here we go. I also really 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 feel bad about Holden in a, in our friend group he is literally the only other computer geek other than Adam but I mean Holden is the, like literally actually me kind of computer geek and he's not able to watch because right now it is 146 in the afternoon and for him he's at school and he doesn't have a half day like my wonderful school had to do because no one needs to learn anything um so this is semi-modular, I was right. Um, this is the GQ series. I didn't know the EVG has series of power supply. And don't drop it, that would probably be nice. But this is the power supply here. Um, the box can go... Actually, I'm going to put all my boxes down here. You know where they all are. Close that, don't feel cramped. Alright, so I'm going to go through my cables first. This is the power cable. This is the SATA power cable. This is CPU. Oh boy, this is gonna be confusing already. And this is graphics card. Um, let's open the power supply up. And I was surprised that didn't shock me. Actually, it was a bag. Um, maybe it did. I just have no soul and I didn't feel it. Um, you can go down with the box. Uh, let's see here. I'm I'm going to install the power supply first, but I am not going to actually install the cables. I'm going to do that once I'm doing the cable one. Um, so if you are using this for an informative video, I'm going to try my best to make it informative. Um, I also want you guys to tell me how well the audio is. Um, I'm more concerned about the audio right now than the actual picture because um, that's kind of a more better deal right now. But uh, please tell me. No, I know computer things. Yeah, sure you do, Kevin. Oh. Alright, this is really expensive hardware, Alex. If I were you, I wouldn't really mess around with it. So this is the power supply already with fingerprints on it. Pretty good. We're going to install it first. Eco. Do not remove this cover. Okay, then. I'm going... Oh. Hmm, okay. I just realized this. Alright, so... This is the top bottom of the case right here. Um, I wanted to have the in the power supply. This is like what you would see. This is the switch right here. Um, this is what you'd see outside in this. The, it's on the top of the case in this design of cases. Um, but I wanted to have it. The the bottom of the power supply actually sucks air in and blows it out through the where the switch is. And I want to have it blowing um blowing air from the actual outside of the case, 
but it's blowing from the inside. Oh well, there's really nothing I can do. So let's put that in. Um, slide in. There we go. I'm going to unravel this, and we can use we can use these for cable management later too, which is kind of a good thing. And these sleeves look awesome. I thought they weren't going to look good, but they look pretty decent. Um, line the screws. Beautiful. And the box should have screws in it. Yes, it does. I don't have screwdrivers down here. Like, why don't I have any screwdrivers? I'm screaming at someone later. Huh. Alright, um, technical difficulties. Hold on. Oh, I am going to need pliers. I'm going to have this out on the table right now. Uh, at least fit. No. Crap. Cut a hole in the top and flip it. You know what? It's not a bad idea. That's something I can't do right now. Um, uh, but th thanks for the suggestion. So what do I have up here? What kind of tool bits do I have up here? Not the right ones. Oh boy. I could go upstairs and get it, but then... I have decided this is a problem. <laughs> I could I could hand screw it in for now. Why why aren't there any screwdrivers down here? Like seriously. If you have one job in life, it's to have screwdrivers in your in your toolbox. I mean, this isn't even mine in the first place. All right. Well, I could quickly run upstairs and. Get some. You know, I'm gonna out of hand screws now. Cause I like people are just starting to actually join, and I don't want them to join and see absolutely nothing. So that, that's my problem right now. So let's pull that forward. All right, hand screw it in. Oh, this is gonna be hard. Well, I mean hard. I I am really excited. I really am. Um. Okay, so we already we already hit problem one. Um, there's need there, I can't. I I'm explaining things really well too, aren't I? No, we don't. Alex, there's a screwdriver on the table. Yes, there is, but this is like a big. All right, how, I can't even show this. Hold on. I here's a noble idea. There, this, this screwdriver is big, and this is the actual screw. I don't know how well it is. This actual screw, it's not even the same width, so I can't use that. Um. All right, so we got the typical um, Adam and Luke going off. All right, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna go get a screwdriver. I'm gonna be right back. No, no, no! Don't go anywhere, please. power supply in. Apparently, uh, this is where the ghost comes in and starts knocking things over. Luke! No. Um, apparently my, uh, mother and sister upstairs are watching it. Shout out. Um, so I actually hired Delaney, my sister, to actually watch the stream for a few minutes and tell me I'm one of the friends. No, Kevin, don't. I, they, 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 yeah, they're, they're calling me dweebs and losers. And that's not good. I also do want to mention that, that, um, on my, I'm using my blue snowball. I don't have an actual mm, shirt mic. I probably should, but, um, I don't. And I don't know if you know that, but I actually, there's, on the blue snowball, there's three settings. One is the front of the mic, which only picks up like a few inches away from it. The second option is still the front of the mic, but um, a bit better, so probably around 10 feet. And the third one activates the entire microphone, so it's omnidirectional. Um, the problem with this is that 
to uh, the second option, there wouldn't be as much echo whatsoever. But it would it was really quiet and me screaming. Oh, the door's not closed. Me screaming wouldn't be very well, and it would still be kind of quiet. So I kind of put it on three, and this is the first time for channel purposes that I actually ever used it. This hard, this power supply is giving me problems. I can't like seem to get the holes in. It's cut probably because of gravity. Hold on. Uh, not this. Which I'm not going to use. Okay, don't fall over power supply. Okay, um, there we go. I'm gonna screw this bottom one right here. Oh, I did it. Get in your power supply. I how come I have a feeling that this is not going in for a certain reason? Oh, there we go. I got it. I got it. Come on, go on. I don't know, a little a book about unicorns. Yeah, unicorns. The, most people, this takes around an hour. With me, it's going to take three. So, it's going to be a problem. Alright, the power supply looks good for now. Um, it is 550 watts, which is more than enough to meet my needs. But who knows, I'm going to upgrade later. Speaking of upgrading... Um, me and Holden are in a big debate, and we keep on talking about, and I've already said this on my channel before, um, I don't know if I want to keep my i3, I mean, it's too late now, I don't know if I want to keep my i3 and use it for a bit, or, or at Micro Center, there's actually a 7700 and a 7700K for about $80, $60 less than retail, but the problem is that I forgot, I haven't told Holden this yet, but the reason why there's such a big freaking deal on it was that the original price was overpriced. Um, let's see, what, what, um, I, I'm not going to be able to get this screw in. There's, no, there's absolutely no way I can. So, I don't know why either, it's like the same way too. Alright, well. Power supplies in. Uh, I'm gonna put this screw in the box for now, and that's the power supply for now. We're gonna go back to it later when we get all the stuff in. It's time for the motherboard. All right, all right. Could you guys sub me? Yeah, screw you. Um, so that that that's it for the case for now. I'm gonna shove all these cables in with the there. Just gonna shove everything in here. Actually. You can get lost. Um, these are the thumb screws for it, so I really I'm gonna put these off to the side. It's time for motherboard prep. I want to see where my camera is. So uh, all right, anywhere's a good angle to be honest with you. Let's take the motherboard just again. My motherboard is the Azrock B250M Pro 4. Cost eighty dollars, and actually, I'm gonna put the I/O shield in first. Um, might be a smart choice. Because I don't want an awkward gaping hole. Okay, so which... Right, so it goes in like this. And speaker holes the top. Uh -oh. Alright, so I actually don't know how a uh, cryo shield goes in. People just... Every video I watch, people just pop it in, so... It should be friction fit. Oh, there we go. There we go. I got it, guys. Now, there's a lot of tabs in there that I don't know if I want to take out or not, so I'm just going to leave them alone, just in case. Uh, we got an extra screw. Uh, we should have an extra standoff somewhere. Not in here. Until I'll have to remember. You can get lost. Uh, you got the manual, which I'm going to refer back to later. And it's in an anti-electrostatic discharge bag, which is what I do call it. Ooh. Okay, so for my live stream viewers right now, this is it in its bag right now. I am going to take it out. So I'm going to use the box to place all of it on. It should be all good. I'm going to check the... Uh, yeah, but I don't want to distract metal objects. Is this seriously that delayed, really? 
No, it's not that delayed. Cool. Okay, so this is actually where I'm gonna put on my nitrile gloves because I, I I didn't want to use the medical gloves because I'm not really performing surgery on something. I'm just building a computer, man. But you know, this is actually the first time wearing these. Well, not nitrile gloves, but these ones in particular. I never seen a black one. Do the colors mean anything? Like these are just like normal nitrile gloves. Do medical ones do any different or whatever? Yeah, I'm committing a crime. I feel like someone's screaming at me or something. Yeah, and there's me right now. I'll put my nitrile gloves on. Oh my god. It's taking way, this is taking way too long. to. Because I when I found them, I just shoved them in my pocket. And they stayed there the entire day. I took them out and shoved them on my table. And it's all good. Wow, these are a pain in the neck to put the hell on. Alright, you know what? My right hand is all I need. So, I'm going to use my right hand for all the... um grabbing and touching of the motherboard there we go um here is the motherboard uh, I'm gonna go closer to it just to show you don't touch much of stuff so this is the motherboard um, I, I can't really point so just take a good look at it for a few seconds all right let's go back so I'm gonna take this random um, piece of whatever this is styrofoam on it and now it motherboard is in case I mean not in case it's on the box all right anyway got some SATA cables we're gonna need that for our um, SSD and one thing I forgot I have SATA cables upstairs for the uh, optical drive but it looks like there's two in here so I mean I, I probably do need a hard drive anyway we're doing the CPU installation first. So I am going to need the CPU. This is my first time opening the CPU for that matter. So I don't know where to open it from. Okay, so there's a sticker right here. So I'm going to guess it's right here. It, again, the CPU is an Intel Core i3-6100. It is hyper-threaded at 3.7 gigahertz, but it is not overclockable. I do not care about overclocking so far. And since it's not overclockable, I do have the stock heat sink, and I am going to use the stock heat sink. And here it is. Um, so, you got the instruction book that I'm just going to shove over there. And, how, all right, how do I safely take this out? Because <laughs> th this is, like, the most important part of the computer. It's basically the human brain of the computer. Uh, Okay, so that, that there's the um, heat sink. How do I get the CPU out? All right, here we go. This is the CPU clamshell kind of thing. I will show in a second. And this heat sink, I'm going to be extremely, extremely careful with because there's thermal paste on it, and you do need thermal paste. You have to have it on on your computer and your CPU. And I don't want to touch that because I don't have any other thermal paste. So I'm going to show you the processor. This is the processor. It, it, for um, scaling, this is my hand, and this is the processor. Nah, that's not a good scale. That, that's a good scale right there. So there's there's the processor, and here's the stock heat sink. Uh, not, nothing too popular. Although, let's put it on. Um, also, no, I don't know what I'm saying also. So we gotta. Oh, th this is gonna be interesting. I'm sorry uh, on the uh, top down view of this nitrile glove, it is a bit wonky. Alright. Here it is. This is the, like, this is actually building the computer now, the motherboard preparation. And here we go. I'm not going. If you are building a PC, do not throw this clamshell away. Hopefully it fits. It, it does fit, don't worry about it. Um. But always hold the processor from the edges. Do not, do not touch the bottom side with the gold contacts, and do not touch the front, especially when your um, hand is exposed. Uh, where is the arrow? The arrow is here, so it goes in this way. All right. This this is like actually the computer part. So suspenseful part. Again, I'm sorry you can't see anything in the stream, but let's put it in. 
Oh, I'm scared. I feel like I'm going to drop it. Hold the motherboard in place. Okay, kind of drop it. All right, give it a small wiggle. Crap, how do I... Okay, it is in. So I'm going to place it down. This is a caption, right? Yep. Just put it down. And this, clamp, this thing right here should pop out. Okay, well, it didn't. Hey, hey, there we go. Processor is in. We just got to put the heat sink on. All right, so CPU fan header is right here. So I'm going to I'm gonna cable this to have the shortest possible runtime. Oh, why is it jammed up in here? Okay, seriously? Are you kidding me? Oh, maybe I should just pull it out. Oh, no, I can't because, oh, for God's sakes. Hardest part of building a computer. Getting the cable unstuck from this heat sink. Okay, I don't want to damage it though. Um, just want to watch. Hopefully, oh, okay, that's the same thing. What the heck? Are you kidding me? Oh, there we go. Okay, we got that out of the uh, the first. There we go. So I actually don't want it to route around the fan. So we'll put it in like this. Yeah, and then cable manage that one since once it's in. So let's get this in extremely carefully I'm gonna kind of keep this up oh, all right those two are in and it's in so um, opposite ends okay those two are in opposite corners make sure they click hey hey it's all in the processor is all in congratulations everyone NASA celebration all right now we just gotta plug this in. Um, oh, I did not realize that. Okay, so can I actually take kind of take this out? I can. Okay, so I, I am gonna have a sideways uh, thing. So this is key, so it only goes in one way. Well, it's not key, but it makes sure it is. And there we go. Now, I'm gonna try, to, I'm gonna cable manage this with zip ties, which should be in the case one. Um, I'm gonna shove this in here back again. There we go, and I'm going to cable manage that in a moment. Actually, no, I'm gonna do it right now. Um, I did, I don't know why I did this. I think it's to protect it, but I did kind of um, tape it back together once I opened it. Just wanted to make sure there was the correct kind of stuff in here I wanted. Uh, okay, so we got, everything's in one bag, so I lost. We got the standoffs, we got some thumb screws, we got some normal screws, and we got some zip ties. Perfect, since we're not doing, I'm, are we doing dealing with anything else? I'm actually gonna take this glove off, um, because I kind of don't need it no more. I mean, oh wow, my hands are so sweaty. You should see that glove. A fork. Whoa. Do you need any extra things in case something breaks? Probably. Um, there's not really much I can take. Uh, you can just use the Chromebook for spare parts. Yeah, the, I'm using my Chromebook. A uh, fork, maybe. Oh, no. No forks. No. No. Wait a minute. I just realized something. This is the clothes I wore during the fork. Stay positive shirt in my my shorts. No, it's after me. Please. No. Please. I just realized that. Wow. All right. Well, anyway, I guess, I guess that's bringing bad luck to my computer. Game. Why did I do that? I, I'm giving myself bad freaking luck. By the way, if you don't know what we're talking about. I use spoons now. Yeah, everyone does. Except for Holden, don't mention Holden spoons. Um, so goes in like that, yep. So th this is where I wish I had three hands because this is gonna look not good. This is the zip tie that goes in the right way, right? No, I put the zip tie in wrong. Well, not in wrong, but I put it in the wrong way. Okay, so. This is the most excruciating part of building a PC. Zip ties. Okay, so this isn't the right way now. Yes, it is. All right. So make sure it's kind of like, like that, I guess. Uh, maybe. My dad has a lot of things. Yes, he does. All right, and there we go. Um, I'm going to cut that off, actually. Mm hmm. Okay, what I need is not in here. I mean, this isn't the kind of first time. All right, so we're gonna do something extremely dangerous. Do not do this at home. Uh, I'm gonna kind of cut it off with the utility knife. 
Not the wide, like the zip tie, the extra zip tie. I'm doing this while I still can because it's going to be easier before we put it into the candle. All right, I'm scared about doing that. Should have a debate over forks and spoons and knives. Shut up, Adam. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not, I'm not to say you right thing. What? I, I don't have anything I need in here. All right, well, whatever. Um, Memories next. We're going to do our memory. I do, um, to run this by again, um, uh, Evo Potenza DDR4 2400, uh, 8GB and a dual channel kit. Um, I have opened this a couple times, so this part is almost out. And there we go. Fast and easy. Um, I think we opened it by here. Wow, oh, this tab is kind of... Right, there we go. Get lost. Come on, we can get our memory in. Hey, bro. How's it going, Vinny? Alright, so, um... Water. Water's good. It is from Geo or Golden Emperor International Inc. No, not Inc. Uh, LTD. Alright, so I have read overread the manual, and we need to have this and this one open. That's where it's going to be, and just to make sure it goes in this way, it does not. It goes in this way. So let's insert it right way. Oh no, come on. It has to go in straight. There we go, like this, and then do the corners again. I hope I'm, I hope I'm not wrenching down on something. Nope. There we go. First slot is in. I hope I'm not messing up anything. Um. And this way. Like I said, I did read the motherboard manual. And there we go. So I, they should be the right, correct ones. Uh, the brain box. Welcome. Bowling spring water. Yep, I want them to sponsor me, please. CPU and memory is in. What else do we need? Um, we're gonna add the graphic card at the end. Is that all for the motherboard already? There's no way. Uh, I don't have an M.2. There is an M.2. Apparently I don't. So we're going to install my motherboard into my case now. It's gonna be interesting. Um, shove everything over here for now. Um, I do need my motherboard stuff. Front panel, front panel connectors. All right, so I'm going to this now. Now that the CPU is in, the safest way to hold it for informative use. Oh my God, computer is to hold it by the uh, heatsink. It's the safest way, apparently, to according to Paul's hardware. Okay, so shove this in. Okay, so I'm gonna do a dry fit first. Okay, that's in. So, where are the holes? They're right here. Okay, so, one, two, three. Oh, we already have a mother uh, standoff right there. Why? All right. One, two, three. So, those are the top ones. Oh, that one's correct. Bottom one's not correct. All right, then. Try not to damage anything. So the top three needs standoffs. Let's add those standoffs. Alright, um. I might have to dump everything out. This is not something you want to do. You want to have organized. And I do have a pair of pliers to tighten these standoffs, which is what I'm going to do. Because it's not really. Unless you buy, like, a, a kit. They're really. You don't really don't have anything at home to screw these standoffs in. I mean, pl pl you, you could use pliers, but. All right, you can't use your hands. Well, I can't use my hands, apparently. All right, seriously. So, I do have some pliers. And holy crap, I'm getting a sore throat from talking so long without much water. All right. Come on. No. Why you do this to me? I should have added the standoffs before the power supply, because this power supply is getting in the way of my fat hands. And there we go. First standoff is in. We just gotta secure it a bit. I don't know why I'm using these pliers. I have a lot better pliers. Actually, hold on. Tighten them. Come on. All right, that's in. Uh, I, I I I pay more attention on the stream than the actual PC, but you know it has to be good. All right, I wanna know what time it is. 
Oh, it's already 2.15. So it's already, we're in 45 minutes. That's probably not good from the amount of progress I am in so far. Okay, so there's no bottom one to put it in. Um, I just want to make sure that that one goes in. Okay. I don't know why these two are connected. Now. Okay. Um, this one right here. Or it could be either one, actually. Which one? Is it the top or bottom one? It's the bottom. It's the bottommost one. Hopefully, I'm. Oh, okay, I thought that was like half the screw um, standoff was gone. So far, we're almost at ten likes on the stream, which is actually pretty freaking good. Um, I mean, these two right here are, and I think that is it for the ones that can go. Or no, there's one in the middle there too. There's I I counted the motherboard, and there should be nine. Um, standoffs to put in. I don't know why there's a standoff in the middle of my board, though. Oh, I'm not probably not going to play around with it. This one here. Alright. Uh, oh, speaking of computers, we got an episode from Linus Tech Tips. Uh, Xbox One, extra boxing, yeah, no, so it's not a computer. Uh, this middle one here is, um, here. Um, I am gonna answer some questions from the chat. Alright, we got, we got, we got a pretty good, uh, comment from Luke. Uh, how do I do both at once? Hold on. Alright, uh, I am blind. One kiss on Alex's forehead will make my day. When you next see Alex Rules 237 in public, kiss his forehead. 10 likes. Yay, 10 likes. Haha, <laughs> Luke. Alright, I'm sure that's. Alright, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Alright, so I'm gonna do a dry fit first because apparently I have all of my standoffs I need in here. Try not to damage the motherboard and the front tail connector are pissing me the hell off. I'm, I, I'm scratching it on the way down. Oh no. How come I have a feeling um, this is going in wrong? Alright, uh, I'm gonna close you on this tech tips. Yeah, there we go. Right, I do have my mouse over here too. Why aren't you going in? Technical difficulties. It, it's like you were going in perfectly just a minute ago. Alright. And. We'll make sure my phone is yet. Why? I, I'm, I'm not voice cracking on accent either. Um, you were just going in perfectly. Alright, you know what, actually? Before I get freaking triggered, I forgot to, um, to, uh, tighten these standoffs. Well, actually, you know what? You know what? Apart from these two, they really don't really tighten them that well. They're, I mean, well, I mean, they're already tightened is what I want to say. I keep on hearing someone trying to call me. It's not a computer, it's an Xbox One X. Yeah, exactly. Okay, motherboard, are you gonna go in this time? Or am I gonna have to give you a freaking timeout? I even put it in right here. Yeah, the IO is right here. Okay, don't shake the table, maybe. I kinda wanna take this drive key out in the first place. Oh, oh. Maybe I can, like, kind of aid my. No. I'm getting kind of close. It's the I.O. that's messing it up. Why? It, you went in perfectly a minute ago. Effortlessly. Alright, uh, you know what? I don't like that sound. I feel like I'm damaging something. Because I am, that's why. 
I'm gonna start booting up this system. It's not gonna work. All right, I can peel this off. Why are you no going in? Me no understand oh. Only a tub of fuel. All right, maybe put it in this way. Maybe angling it this way. Like that, and then I can. I'm getting kind of triggered, guys. You're not going in. Why? 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 I'm gonna have to cut this part out of the video then. Actually, in the video. Oh! 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 It's in! It's finally freaking in! I'm sorry, I'm like screaming my lungs out, and none of you are seeing what's going on. That's motherboard damage right there. You're damaging my brain cells. No, okay, so I want to count... Ow! I poked myself. Alright, one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight. All right, I see all standoffs. Okay, so I want to make sure. All right, the IO is through the shield. And there we go. We're ready to start screwing in the motherboard. Um. All right, the question is, what screw do I use for the motherboard? It's not these tiny ones here. It's M3. So, would it be these ones? I don't think so. They're not going smoothly down. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, it's not these ones either. Those, These are hard drive ones right here. These ones? Oh. Oh, I think I found it. No. Okay, so there's like... The, the motherboard standoff ones are M3. Er, and this one is not M3. Or am I just losing my freaking mind? Ow, I'm bleeding. That that motherboard pin just, like, stabbed me. Trying to assassinate me. No, it's not even. Alright then, well. <laughs> what do I use to screw it? Are they even in here? Or are they in the motherboard one? No, they wouldn't be in the motherboard one. Ow. I know these ones are the hard drive ones. Alright, I, I know barely any of you can see the uh, screws. These ones are too small to even go in. Um... Or are they these ones, actually? Yep, I found them. Oh, they're these kinds, so we gotta find as many of them as possible in this jungle. Uh, two. Um. Three. Uh. Four, five. Six, seven, eight. Alright, we found all of them. Alright, these we can put back in the bag, so I'm going to do that real quick, because you have to have a nice, neat workstation, or else this is not going to work. Hashtag motherboard assassination. Uh, I really want I, I, I should probably speed up progress, because we're kind of running at a small bit of time. 53 minutes ago, maybe not. Alright, so I was supposed to finish this an hour, it's probably going to take longer, because I'm streaming. Ah. All right, so this is taking way too slow. Uh, keep that clam shell. Come on! I don't know why I'm sounding like I'm constipated right now, but it's the thing's got to be that way. I'm also, please tell me if there's like audio mishaps or something like that, because my wonderful sister who's supposed to be doing that right now is not. Get out there and build that PC. Alex, men don't bleed. Yeah, thank, thank you for the emotional support. Uh, I wish you were here in real life. Kevin is soon. Lucky me. Um. All right. 
we're gonna stuff we're gonna start from the top bottom this time um making sure the camera's still recording yep okay just making sure all right uh how kind do you think this is gonna take to finish I'm gonna say I'm gonna I'm guessing you're gonna say how much um you know I really don't know like I said most people build it in like about hour hour and a half but these people are also professionals at this and do this for a living. Um, I'm talking about professionals like Paul's Hardware. <laughs> yeah, this is it. There's like different kinds of the screws that I have, which is kind of worrying, but I don't have any other screws on hand, so. Also, I'm coming in like a bad angle for this one. This one even in? No. This isn't even one of the screws. They are, but this is not going incorrectly. Hi, Monkey8504. Alright, I'm really deeply sorry that you're not going to be able to see much right now during the stream. I'm going to try to shout about it as much as I can, but... Okay, there we go. That one went in. Okay, let's try... There's like... There's one that's like a hex nut, nut um, screw, and there's one that's just this round screw. And this isn't a magnetic screwdriver. I should probably use one. Oh, wait. Is there any magnets in here? No, well, screw it. Now, that's why I, I, I knew I was forgetting something. A magnetic screwdriver. This is not magnetic. You should always have a magnetic screwdriver. Especially right here where you can't. Oh, I just got. I just dropped that and I got it in. Awesome. Okay, so these screws are going in. So, wonderful, I guess. One, two, three, five more to go. Oh, yeah, this is taking a lot longer than I thought it was. But these bottom ones shouldn't be much of a pain in the neck. So I'm actually going to put all the screw. No, I'm not, because that's going to be confusing as frick. Uh, hi, I really want to get a better PC. Uh, DB055 plays. Well, if you want to, um, I would say build your own PC. <laughs> Like I'm doing. I won't build one for you because it's too much money. Um, have someone else build it for you. Or um, you can go online and get like a pre-built one, which is what Luke is planning on doing. Um, and yeah. That's about it. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Uh, Monkey 8. Oh, it's Nick. Oh, okay. Um, well, welcome, Nick. I heard you wanted to watch this. Is this one in? Yes, I'm sorry. So, um, yeah. Yeah, crap. How do I get these two in? All right, so. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, so this is where a magnet would come in freaking handy. I can, I can always wing it. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, there we go. I got it in. No, that wasn't voice crack. Uh, can I have a shout out? No. I will not shout out you, Zigzag, with 100, 850 subscribers. I'm not going to shout out you. Um. Okay, how do I, let's, get, let's get this in with my... That worked. Um, I, I'm going to try to narrate, because I, I go in like, oh, wow, 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 why is this doing that? And none of you are understanding a word I'm saying. It's fine. It's dandy. Once uh, the case prepping and the motherboard prepping is all really you should be worried about. Make a review on your PC. That's what I'm going to do. Hey, uh, I'm going to do benchmarks with Kevin. Hopefully we're going to play the game. Or I um, I am going to say, is that all? Oh, yeah. All the screws are standing up. That's the motherboard. We, we got the motherboard. Um, I'm going to have Kevin. We're going to run some benchmarks. The first video after this I'm going to have on my channel is going to be Scrap Mechanic because I, I really want to play that game. Um, and then the reviews of the, the benchmarks and stuff. That's the motherboard. Um, I forgot, actually, I forgot to add the optical drive, so we'll do that next. Um, let's go up here, and I'm going to go for this forward. So you guys can actually see. Isn't that wonderful? So we gotta pop the top one out. We're gonna use the top one. Well, um, mother, no, not motherboard. 
it's a it's a SATA um one that I found off of a Windows Vista. Uh, yeah, Nitel Growler. Okay then. Actually, yeah, there's uh, there's gonna be big some a uh, lot of big debates. I okay, so we're gonna insert it from the front like that, and there's gonna be yes, there is awesome. So put that in there like that, and so there's like a screw that I'm screwing in right now right here. Oh, you can't see it, but. I'm saying butt a lot. Um, so that's in. We're gonna put that in here. The other screw, there, there's supposed to be four screws. I only have two for this. The other screw is, is on this other side, so we ha do have to remove this side panel here. Um, but we're gonna instantly put it back. Like that. So what am I doing? Um, I don't like, I don't know how, to, how that IO looks there. Oh, whatever. Uh, it's the best gaming PC I could have already built. Oh, okay, they're having a debate about that. Okay, I'm, I'm dying of thirst. I need water. Come on, alright, well, chug. Uh, that wasn't much of a chug, but it doesn't matter. Um, so, take this off. And... If, if you ever mix place these, if you ever get this case, the one that goes here where you actually go in and have all the space and put the motherboard, all this stuff, has a fan hole in it. So if you ever get confused, then you always want to do that. Um, I'm going to want to put this screw in here. Come on, you can do it. Let's see. Uh, I'm sure I, I, I can't uh, and teach him a lesson. I, I can't even read the comments right now, so I'm not gonna be too worried about it right now. I got more important things to do right now, like install an optical drive in properly. Like this. All right. While I can. Oh, there's not gonna be too much case prepping in here because there's not much going behind here, is there? No, apart from really up here, and no, the cables are way too big for that. All right then, let's get this back on. I, I'm I'm deciding what the heck should I do next. I'm pro I don't want to do cable management just yet. Actually, hold on. What do I have left? Um, I the the graphics card in the SSD. I'm gonna do the SSD next. Um, I guess so. Because I have nothing else. Like, we're almost done, too. Surprising. We're going to do a test boot and everything. I'm not going to install Windows. I, I'm going to have... I'm going to install Windows and um, the, all the drivers and all my stuff. Not in a video. I'm um, having Kevin, Kevin come over and we're going to be doing that. It's going to be all good. Uh, oh, we need zero dislikes. Yeah, well... Two of, the, two of them are really jerks. Uh, let's see here. What do we do next? I, I, um, oh yeah, I said the SSD, didn't I? So, if I didn't done goof, this should be the top, and it should go in. I, I already forget how this goes in. Um, I think it goes in, it goes in like this. So, the SSD goes in on top. Like that. Um, this is one where I'm really gonna be questioning myself how I'm gonna film this. All right. Uh, which where did I put these screws? Ah, I don't know which screws I use for the 2.5 inch drive. So consult the manual. There's like a bunch of different screws. Could I possibly build yours? Um, from uh, Vinny, uh, who lives near me. Uh, well, okay. Wait, hold on. Oh! Alright, um. I, okay, so, for those who are watching the entire stream, 
There's going. Is there a bit of spamming going on in the live chat? Yep. All right. Um. So the there's the motherboard screws were the circular ones I was talking about. And the ones with the hex nut, those were actually power supply screws. But I I, I already had them. Why did I close this? So the 2.5 inch drive screws are. I need four of them. This is already a mess, isn't it? Are not these ones. Or is this one here? Is it the long ones, right? Yeah, there's like 12 of them. There's small and large ones. So, one, um, I'm gonna put them up here on the case. I'm, I'm not dumping like the entire bag out for a couple of screws. That's not it. Uh, where are there more? Where are there more? Uh, once you come over, I don't know. When I'm done, I'm going to call you and we're going to um, go from there. Alright, so there's literally one screw that I need in here. Why? I am going to knock it out, you know what? Because screw you. Oh, okay, so... That's that. That's another um, uh, power supply screw, but it will fit. No, it won't. So will this one fit? This one will fit. No, it won't. What? Do I have to like push it in? No, that one won't even fit. Um. I wrote this one. Can I at least get it to fit a small bit? Okay, so I guess these ones aren't the... What about this one? This one's probably even too small. No, this is the right one. How come they look bigger, though? Or are these... No. I am confused. At least the 3.5-inch drives, I actually know. I'm guessing this is the... um. These ones won't even fit, or are they? I'm just being... Okay, so these ones are the ones that fit. Alright then, um... Whatever. I got confused there. Uh, they're not the countersink ones, they're these ones. Or wait a minute. No, they're these ones. So, like I said, they go in... Goes in that way, so... I would want to put it in right here. Like that, right? Or no? It would go in there. Ooh, there. There we go. So again, this is this is a top-down view camera right here. So better luck next time, I guess. I really wish I had some other cameras too. Okay, screw one in. Um, it's starting to bend, which is probably not a good thing. So. And the guy, I got this SSD from a computer guy down the street. Um, he told, he, I didn't actually go fetch it. It was my dad. He surprised me with it when I told him I need an SSD. Um, the guy, it's a, the guy said it, it's okay, I guess. Um, 120 gigabytes only because it's the cheap ones. And I can... I'm just using it for applications and the operating system, nothing else. Um, but it's from a brand I never heard of before. He said it's okay, so, alright, whatever. But th this is the same guy that told me to use a Samsung SSD, so I had the 850 Evo in mind, and he gave me this one. Thanks for your contribution. Uh, alright, and then you got these, like, noise-canceling pads here, which are awesome, which I forgot to move, ah oh, crud, I, I didn't put them in place and I probably should have, oh well, I, they're really, they, I mean, I don't know why I want to, this is an SSD, so it doesn't make any sound in the first place, uh, really time, really bro, hi bro, why is this not going in? Alright, well, screw it. We don't need it. We do. Um, 
I, I probably should like squeeze it in while I can though. All right, technical difficulties. I'm sorry. Zigzag is a smart one. Yeah, maybe on YouTube he is. No offense. All right, I I I'm not getting that in. Uh, that's something I'll do on a later date. But it really does not matter for me right now because it's an SSD. It does not need the sound cancellation foam. And there we go. That's the SSD installed. I'm gonna, we're going to put the drives in. Pull the drive cage in. Actually, no, we're not. Because we need to put the graphics card in. And I've never opened the graphics card before. And I love graphics card cards. No, we're actually going to do the front panel connectors first. So again, this is a top-down V1. Um, how do I do this without getting really annoyed at this? All right, so this is the USB 3. So I'm going to try not to block USB 3, 4, USB 5, 6. No, that's not it. Okay, I, I see where the audio goes. All right, um, is USB up here? All right, I'm gonna consult the manual for that then. Uh, the case fan actually, um, it should be blowing air in so it's positive pressure, get it to stay positive. Um, yeah. All right, so where, where's, the, where's the case fan? Is it this one? I think it is this one right here. Yes, it is. Okay, so it's already zip tied for me. Uh, Chafan Ho, where's Chafan 1? It means chassis fan, I'm just being it. Alright, well, it doesn't really matter, does it? Just shove it in there, it's keyed. Goes in here. Like that. Um. US, the USB does not go in there. Alright, so the audio. Where is the audio? Okay, your front panel connector. Well, I mean, these all are. Alright, audio and USB. Oh, okay, so USB, you go in there, like that, HE audio, you go in here, man, these are keyed, so that's why I'm kind of looking at them, uh oh, there we go, that's in, um, uh, there's a USB 3 thing right here, I have no idea where it goes. Alright then, well, we don't need it for now. Front panel connectors. Oh, they're right there. How come I feel like... I don't know, you know what, screw it. Alex, stop what you're doing. I need to go downstairs for two minutes. Sorry, pal. Alright. I need my Azeroth board because I need the front panel connector. It should even say it right here, too. Actually, it does. Now, there are reset pins on here, but this case does not have a reset switch, so I will not be using this. Alright, power switch. Power switch should be going. Yeah. This should be the power switch right here. So, sorry again for the streamers right now that can't see a thing. Um, there's nothing I can do to fix that. Power LED 1. Alright, positive and negative. Alright, so you should be going in this way. Right? Um, already confused. I got a disc. Throw that in there. I'm sorry, the cool stuff is coming soon. Gonna consult the manual. Okay, so we're 18. System panel header. Okay, so you're not telling me. Oh, actually, hold on. Where USB three hundred, USB three five six. So that's eight. <laughs> okay, eight. You're behind the power. Okay. Well, I guess so. Who knows? But it's keyed. So. Or hold on. Is this keyed too? Or am I just being an eight? Oh, this is keyed. Oh. Okay. I thought it wasn't. So you're go. You go in there. Okay, awesome, we got that in. I am not doing my best cable management job either. Um B250. Uh this is the boring part, I know. 
will shut up. There's a table of contacts. Con contact contacts. This is reading 101 with Alex Rules 237. Alex is zigzag. No, zigzag's my cousin. Oh, come on. Half of this is in English. I mean, in Spanish. Oh boy. Where are the table of contents? I, I'm whining for like four seconds here. This is retracted. Oh no, what did Kevin say? There was. Oh, for God's sakes. Alright, well, you know what? Their front door connector is not doing any damage if you put it in wrong. Um, this is not turning out how I want. Alright, this is HDD LED. I already know where that goes. This is positive and this is negative. Positive. Oh, these are small and tiny. I. This is small, isn't it? Come on, you can put it in. I should probably do some cable management here. I need light in here for God's sakes. That's what I need. I see. I'm taking this out. That you are you are being annoying. So I did I I did hear that um these cables are extremely extremely annoying, and those people be right. They are extremely extremely freaking annoying. All right, and then we just have these other two that are somewhere. Where did I put them? <laughs> Where would I put them? Alright, here we go. So I'm gonna. Wait, where's zero? Oh, this is positive, so they go in this way. And like I said, if they if I do put them in the wrong way, it's not gonna do any damage to the actual PC or motherboard. So I can just flop them. Right, don't move the table. Wow, this is hard. <laughs> Oh, I put him in the wrong one, too. You suck. Okay. The negative terminal is in. The wrong one. Okay, this is where I should probably add music. Jeez. I'm trying to keep this at least a little bit entertaining. Go ahead. Go ahead. There we go. All right, well, the front panel connectors are in, and I'm going to check when half of it is in Spanish. You know that the Spanish illegally build gaming PCs, too. Mm. All right, cable management. Um, you know, I didn't even plug them in well in the first place. All right, take this USB one hour for now. Like that. And all right, that's zip tied right there anyway. So zip tie these, the small ones together like this. All right, then again, this is where I wish I had three hands. Okay, and then I forget where zip tie is going. This is my luck. This is the wrong way. No, it's not. I got it correctly in the first try this time. There we go. I'm trying my best cable management job right now. It's definitely not, but it's not much better I can do. So, you've been cable managed. Um, this one, I am going to kind of route under here. And you're keyed this way. So that's good, and then this one kind of just route away here, and there we go. So I'm mean, gonna just like block and straight the fan. Let's do some cablings. Um. Oh, okay. So this is the spare one. So is this 24 pin or 26 pin? Oh, this is 26. So this needs to go together like so. And uh, where where is lock? keyed so it doesn't just go
go in like that. Well, it shouldn't. If I... Okay. So it goes in that way. I'm sorry it's not really entertaining, but... There we go, that's in. Okay, so power is in. Graphics card is next. No! Yes, graphics card is next. Uh, I should probably do some cleaning up. So we're just going to put this here, have some workspace. So recording. Oh, wow. Alright. Um, let's see. New YouTuber work record set by actual do this on. So which way? Okay, open. Opens from bottom. Okay, uh, I'm going to show you the graphics card. Whoa. Thanks for choosing. Thank you for choosing an AM, a, a, MS, MSI project. Um, I'll just it. Again, this is the first time I'm opening this. So goodbye. Oh, okay, so this comes with the disc. Windows 10 compatible. Beautiful. Here is the... Uh, this is the armor series, yeah. So that's the uh, thing. So, here is the graphics card. Um, I'm gonna show it in the video just in a sec, but let me take this band around it up. We need, we need the knife. Give me the clamps. I don't know why this clamps. Uh, Alex, the top view cam doesn't work. No, I know it's because it's my phone and I'm recording it for an after uh, video. And there we go. Uh, I'm not doing. Wait, I don't. No, this is this isn't even. Yeah. Okay. So this is the graphics card. Uh, it looks a lot better than I thought it would. Um. Yeah. The, the, this is it. It's awesome. Um. It is VGA. No, it's not VGA. It doesn't have VGA. It is HDMI, and DisplayPort. Oh, I didn't know I had DisplayPort, and uh, DVI. So, should get the job done. It does not support um SLI. I thought I thought it did, but it doesn't. I don't see any word for an SLI bridge, but it's close enough. Um, these can go back in the package, and let's put this son of a gun in again for the top down view. So, oh wait, hold on. Before we do that, we gotta unscrew the PCI Express slot. There we go. Oh, uh, there's two of them. Yeah, let's get two of them. Oh, this one's wrenched in. There we go. There we go. We're getting progress. We're almost done, guys. We're going to do a test boot in just a few minutes. Um, but first, we've got to get all the cables in first. Um, while I can, I am going to put in my CPU one. Uh, which one is the CPU? This one's CPU. Put that in. Oop, don't drop everything. Uh, this is CPU. Alright, and this go this is the one. Okay, so Yeah. Alright, I cannot see, which is beautiful. I don't have a flashlight. CPU two, BGA one, CPU one. Okay, so you go in there like that. And then this goes in. Here, like, uh, come on, you can do it. Oh, okay, you can't do it. Like that. There we go. CPU is all set. Um. Yeah, we'll do. All right, we'll do the SATA things in a second. Um, let's take the express slots out. Probably be a great thing. Express lots. Um, just making sure no one knows me. No, nope. no one notices you. Okay, so this cable right here is gonna be bad. Let's put you in. You go in. All right, make sure this slides back. Here we go. The graphics card is almost in. Let's just screw the back. Let's just screw in the. Uh, PCI, um, I think these are actually thumb screws anyway, so let's screw the thumb screws back in. Jeez, I love thumb screws. Um, I do see one question in the comments, and it is 
How do you, where did you learn how to build PC and who do you watch on YouTube for PCs? Um, well, a bunch of, the, the first one that got me was Kerry Holzman from uh, Newegg TV, but I only watched like that one video that he did, and that kind of gave me an idea of the computers. And then I went on to people like Paul's Hardware, Bitwit, and re recently Linus Tech Tips, and I watched a lot, and I was originally going to build Paul's $500 um, guide how to build a PC for beginners one, but the motherboard did not, was like, uh oh, I put this in wrong, the motherboard became out of stock and it's still out of stock and this was like five months ago so I really can't use that. And then, th this is the same case he used and um, the same processor for the $500 one and there was a $750 upgrade which is what I was going to do, and I never did. Um, so this including a monitor and my new mouse is around um, seven hundred dollars, I believe. Um, and the in the link though, the the actual um, PC part picker link does not have the monitor or the mouse, and I did that on purpose because it's not the actual PC. Uh, I bought them because I didn't actually have a monitor for it, and my mouse I needed to upgrade my mouse badly. All right, so this thumb screw is not going in properly. I think I, I think I stripped it. What's all part of the experience? Um, now, I don't see where I would put a power into my graphics card. Um, it's kind of bad. I thought it took power. I thought I, 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 I clarified this. So. Am I gonna have to take it out and re and look at it, or do I? Hmm. I need water. All right, I'm getting water. Quick users guide. So hopefully it's quick. All right. Um. I. So, yeah, connect connect the six eight pin power connectors, if any. Replace the case and connect. Right, connect the six eight pin power connector. It says if any. So maybe it doesn't need one. No need to be triggered. Is it almost done? It's almost done. It is almost done. I don't see any pins, so we're gonna wing it. Um. All right. Well, I guess we don't need it then. Uh, SATA one. We are gonna need to connect our SATAs. So where is our? I think this this is SATA power right here. So let's connect our SATA powers. Well, I mean, like, there. This one only comes with the power ones. What am I talking about? Oh, so they come these long kind of strips here. All right, that's kind of cool. Um, I only need two of the three. Actually, no, I need all three of them. All right, cool. Huh. Uh, Santa one, you go there. There we go. Um, now, how am I gonna do this? You. Oh, I'm I'm already doing poor cable management. Wow, this case, this cable management looks terrific. Not. I mean, it looks horrific, is what it looks. All right, how come I, I can't fit that in? What? All right, more difficulties with Alex Rose 237. Why is this being a butt? Okay, you're going this way, so go in is the question. I'm trying to plug my optical drive in. Why is it not going straight? Is the question. All right, I'm being really silent. I'm sorry about this. Come on, get in, you gasted. I'm guessing it's in. 
Well, it's in. All right, it's all it's in. Good job, we did it. Um, I don't know. Okay, so you're that. You're Seda. Oh, that's us. This is interesting. All right, put that through. All right, that's already good. That's good. Um, you're not reaching, however. So I'm gonna have to unplug you, but it wouldn't reach anyway. So I'm probably gonna have to use like, I mean, there's Molex here. I'm not using Molex. Ew. Uh, just wanna look at the stream. Oh, cool. All right. Uh, when you get your setup done with your whole setup, you should make a torp. All right, whatever that means. I don't know. This, all right, I this off the clip drive is really annoying me right now. Or it's like the power supply is like right in its way. This is this is one of the limitations of building in a small form factor case is that you don't have a lot of room to play with, and that's kind of bad. I feel like I damaged something, and this is just not going to work really well. Okay, so you know what? Screw the optical drive. We do not need the optical drive right now. I am going to need it in Lator, though. Let's put the... Oh. Okay, so that's in. The SATA powers are really hard to actually get in, so... Alright, um... Now we need the SATA SATA, the SATA data. Uh, this is a mess right here. Wow, this is a mess. Um, here are the SATAs. Yeah. So you... Would want... Alright, so I would want this one to be... Going in this way, and then, oh, this is a mess right here. I know you can't see, but I did not do a great cable management job. Okay, so, all right, say to four, say to four, three, four, five, three, two, three. Okay, so what's one, all right, whatever, this is going in. Not the best kill management job, I have to say, but there's nothing I can really do about it much. Okay, um... So... Now with this, can I, like... Alright, I am going... This is gonna be for the hard drive right here. Yeah, I can reach. So... I'm gonna put another SATA data while I can. Let's just SATA one and instantly to SATA three, so there's something wrong there. It doesn't matter. Let's unplug that real quick. Put that in here. And then put this one back in. Okay, I'm gonna check the stream real quick from the board of this. That one you put in a PC is like 40 bucks. Alright, whatever. I, I, I don't know. Okay, so this is the completely empty one. We're doing the stream is health is freaking fantastic too. Oh, I put the Molex in one! I put the Molex one in! Ah! I don't want the Molex one, I want this one. There we go. That's why I wasn't going in very well. Okay, so you are going to... Okay, that's in. That's in. And then I, what I want to do is have this one go in. See, I, I really wish I got a case that I you have easy cable management. This is definitely not that case.
go in your gas to is it even going in correctly? Why is optical drive being such a pain in the neck? I put the optical drive in wrong too. Alright, you know what? I, um. Screw the optical. I, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna worry about the optical drive. Just screw it. Well, I, I'm. I need to do some cable management. This looks garbage. This looks bad. Um. I can't really do much though, especially now since everything's already in. Especially down there. Down there looks look like bad. So what I can do is because most of these are like folded, it does not look all too great. Okay, so I'm just gonna shove everything in that hole, and then screw this back on. No, you're going in wrong. Okay, so I think these ones were the ones that, yeah, these are the ones that went into the drive cage. We are almost done, guys. I'm sorry. Two hours ago. We st started streaming two hours ago. It's taking way too long. Much longer than I thought. I'm trying to talk a lot more too because I just realized I'm doing a lot of silence. There we go. Number three. And it's in! Guys? Other than the terrible cable management job, we're done! I'm not going to put the side panel on because it's bad luck. We're going to test it out. I really hope we're not missing anything right now. I, I'm not worrying about the TP link too much right now. Um, speaking of that. Uh, oh, there, there. Alright. So, we have this. Let's unfold it. And it is going to go... I don't even have an outlet to put it in. No. No. Because, all right. Um. It couldn't even reach in the first place. No. All right. Well, moment of truth. Um, what do I plug it in is the question. I don't know. It can't, it can't even fit in the first place. Uh, okay, I'm going to have to unplug my mo my uh, laptop. Or else it's not going to be... Alright, so... It, I hope there's not... Is there a decrease in performance? Just like a slightest bit. It's plugged in. Okay, I just want to make sure. Alright, flip the switch. And I'm going to face it this way so you can see all the inside. And push the button. Cross our fingers. I see stuff, and there we go. Um, so actually, I kind of forgot that you kind of need a monitor. Um, is the, is the yeah okay? So I'm gonna get my monitor real quick. Uh oh. Um, now I don't have a. Uh, a uh, throughput for my monitor. So already we're not in a good, good position. Um. So the monitor goes in my, my graphics card like that, and uh oh, I think. I don't have anywhere to plug this in. Is there like an outlet over here or something? 
an outlet anywhere else. Please. All right, well, I'm gonna have to run another extension cord from the out of sides. Uh, um, I don't know. Do we, we don't even have another extension. Oh, no, we do here. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I hear it, it's kind of noisy too. It, well, if we if we listen to it, hold on. It's a small bit noisy, but I can live with the noise. Alright, pull this extension cord out. Oh, come on. I know, I'm making a lot of noise right now. Alright, plug this into my monitor. Hope I did everything correct. I'm gonna go find somewhere to plug this freaking thing in. plugged it in so hopefully it works power on I don't know if anything happened yet so it, why is it not oh. Shoot. um sorry about that I kind of forgot that there's a line no I kind of forgot about that sorry that was a terrible noise too Oh, this is so messy right now. This is one big mess pile. I don't want to know how that sounded like. Ah. All right, well. Said the brand. Ew. That was terrible. All right, let's turn it on. There we go. Now it's on, I guess. It's still streaming. Oh, yeah. I am really sorry about that. Does it say anything? Skeptry? Come on. It's blanking. All right. All right, well, anyway, I guess that's going to be the end of the live stream here. I'm going to try to figure out what's wrong. Um, and, yeah, hopefully I can fix it. Oh, boy. Um, all right, I guess this is the end of the live stream. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will do some benchmarks if I do, if I can get the thing running. And I'll see you in the next video.